I've never used a sensor multiplexer, so I thought I would give it a try. A sensor multiplexer is going to allow you to use more sensors than you could normally plug into your NXT brick. I've used one to tell when my arm has come all the way down, one for when my arm has come all the way up. I also have one on the, the tines of my fork. The real reason why I decided to use it this time is I didn't have a cable long enough to reach from the NXT all the way to the end of my arm, so I used the multiplexer to extend my reach. You will need to install a separate battery. The green light just means that there's a battery in it. You need the green light and red light on to indicate that it is on. You will need to indicate in your schematic editor that you are using a uh, sensor multiplexer and from there which sensors you're using. Let's create a program where the robot drives forward until the touch sensor on the fork or the tines indicates that I've picked up a crate. So I'm going to configure my drive motors to drive forward. Tell them to stop. In between, I need to read that touch sensor that's plugged into the multiplexer. You'll need to go into additional sensors and motors, high technic sensors, and choose high technic Lego with MUX. Change it to a touch sensor. And don't forget, you can always read your context help by pressing Command Shift H. You'll need to give it the port on the NXT and which one of the numbered ports that you're plugged into on the MUX or multiplexer. We need to check that touch sensor over and over and stop only when it's been pressed. So to check it over and over, we need to wrap it in a while loop. It's usually a good idea to include a little weight uh, block. You don't want to use all the NXT resources uh, to check that touch sensor over and over. Well, now that we have detected that there's a crate on it and we've stopped our motor, I want to clamp down on that crate so it won't fall off with my little servo gripper. So I need to add the code for that. Give it a little time to complete its motion. Finally, we'll need to add some code to raise the arm. The arm will need to come up until the touch sensor at the top is pressed. Then we can tell that motor to stop running. So in between the turning the motor on and off, we need to read the touch sensor. This one is not plugged into the sensor multiplexer, so we can just use a regular read or wait for sensor block. 